Hi everyone and welcome to an exclusive video on how to bypass DSL. So what is DSL? DSL in a nutshell is your daily sell limit. And this DSL applies to all vehicles that you own, cars, planes, bikes, you name it. Whether legit vehicles or duped vehicles, you are only able to sell two every two hours, up to a maximum of seven vehicles in 30 hours. So every time you violate this DSL, your account gets red flagged and if you violate it enough times, you will only be able to sell one vehicle per day. So that is bad news for all you dupers out there. But now on PC, there is a relatively safe method for you to bypass DSL, which will allow you to sell like what 50, 100 vehicles a day without being red flagged. Now credit for this goes to Smuggler Crab from GTA Glitches Discord or Mr. S as he is more commonly known because he's the one who figured this out. And this has been known for quite some time, just that he never made a video about it. And he never really publicized this with the exception of within GTA, which is Discord itself. So this video itself serves to visualize the bypassing of DSL. And I've tested it quite a number of times over like the period of like one or one and a half years before I finally decided to actually release this on a video. Again, gentle reminder that this only works on PC because this actually utilizes the no safe method and looking at how I've tested this over the period of one and a half years and I have not been banned, I finally decided to release this, okay? Now before I move on, just a quick message over here. If you intend to purchase anything or any services from extramods.com, I have code for you right here that will give you 5% off. You don't have to buy if you don't want to, but just remember this coupon code when you do. So what you just saw was my whole garage of Future Shock ISIS, which were all duped. I only duped like 10. And I did that just to show in this video how to bypass DSL with all those 10. So let me just get to LS Customs and I will show you what my current car sales is before I proceed with the glitch. So I'll open up the pause menu and I'll go to stats and then I will go to cash and you will see how much I have currently made from selling vehicles. So that's 314 million. So take note of this number and then compare it with what I show you later at the end of the video. So the game actually adds to this number the moment you sell vehicles and the data is saved on Rockstar servers. By the end of the video, you will see how we bypass this to not get it recorded and yet still get the money into our bank. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is to actually drive it in and I will proceed to sell this Future Shock Issy. Now, as with all dupes on PC, they only sell for 1 million each, and that's normal on PC. Consoles have it way better because they can sell this at like 1.7 or 1.8, but this is just how it is on PC. So I'm just going to proceed to sell this, and you can see that I actually have custom plates on, which I would recommend before you actually sell the vehicle. So once the vehicle is sold, you will spawn outside of LS Customs. And then I'm just going to call out another one from that same garage that you saw. And I am going to sell this too. So here I am back inside and I'm going to sell this. And the game is going to spawn me outside again. So I have sold two vehicles back to back and that is within the daily sell limit. Any other vehicles I sell again will give me a red flag. So let's take a look at our stats and then I'll go down to cash again. And you can see right now the game has recorded it as 316 million, which is 2 million more than what I had just now. And that's because I sold the two vehicles. Now before I continue, please go and take a look at the no save method if you don't know how. I've left a link in the description and there's a tutorial on how to do that. Because from now on, you will need to do the no save glitch in order to sell more vehicles. Now I will call in my third IC and I will attempt to sell this, but take note of the process that I go through in order to bypass DSL. So now I'm in my third vehicle and we're just going to go into LS Customs as per normal and then I will explain the next step of this glitch. Once inside LS Customs, on the menu, just go all the way to here but don't sell yet. So once you're here, what you do now is you actually enable no save 
But just remember to test out NoSafe is working for you before you actually start attempting this glitch. Now once NoSafe has been initiated, go ahead and sell the vehicle and the game will still spawn you outside. So now you will see that you have sold the vehicle, but on the left side you will see saving failed. That means up till now this is actually working. And even if you go do a change of clothes, as long as no save is on, the saving failed message will remain. Now here's where it gets interesting because right now the game will not allow you to sell another car simply because saving has failed and as long as this message is there, you will not be able to sell another car. So no matter what you do, once your no save is on, this message will persist and it will not go away. But there is one exception to this. So all you have to do is to bring up your pause menu and you scroll all the way down to exit game. So once you select exit game, it will give you this message whereby it says saving failed, are you sure you wish to quit? And all you have to do is to select no. Once you selected no, you will see the message on the left side say save successful. So it is now that the game will allow you to sell another car or another vehicle simply because the message has changed. So I'm just going to call out another issue and I'm going to sell it. So this is the fourth vehicle that I am selling and the game has allowed me to sell it even though no save is on. But if you encounter this situation where the game puts you out there with your vehicle, just go back in and then attempt to sell it again. Sometimes this happens simply because we are on no save and the game is sort of glitching out. So once you sell this vehicle, the saving failed message will yet come up again simply because no save is still on. And it has to remain on throughout this glitch in order for you to sell all your cars no matter how many cars there will be. So open up your pause menu, go to exit game, select no, get a save successful message, call out another vehicle and then sell again. A gentle reminder on this, even though this is bypassing DSL, you will still need custom plates in order to sell your vehicles. And my recommendation with regards to custom plates is to actually sell two custom plates, switch to another custom plate and then sell two, and keep on repeating that. This is just so that the game will not see you selling the same vehicle with the same license plate too many times. And it is a safety precaution to prevent anything weird from happening. So I'm just going to fast forward myself selling two more vehicles. And the only thing preventing me from selling any faster is because there's a cooldown in between calling vehicles. So I sped up the video instead of making you go through a long drawn process. So up till now, I have sold a total of 6 vehicles, all Future Shock ICs. And if you look at my statistics, you will see 320 million up from 314 in the beginning. So for now, just let me pretend that I already sold all my vehicles, bypassed DSL, and we're now ready to do the last phase, which is to prevent the game from seeing that we have sold so many. So I'll just open up my bank account and let you see how much money I have so that you can see for yourself that I will be keeping this amount of money when I log back in. It's 1.772 billion, and this amount will not change even after I log off and come back in. Take note that no save is still on and you shouldn't switch it off. So the next thing that you want to do is to actually leave GTA Online and go to story mode and accept the alert. Once you have fully loaded into story mode, what you need to do here is to turn off no save. After turning it off, you can go back into an invite only session or to any public session if you want, and we will see the results.
Once you've loaded back into online, if you still say saving failed, open up your interaction menu, just change an outfit, and it will save successfully. Next, open up your pause menu and go to stats, and then go to cash, and then you will see that even though I sold 6 vehicles for 6 million, what was registered was only the first two vehicles, which is why the total is at 316. So because we had no save turned on, the game did not register the rest of the vehicles that we sold, and it has not been captured in the stats. But if you look at the total amount of money that you have right now, you will see that you have already kept the amount of money you made from selling the vehicles, and of course those vehicles will be gone, but the money will still be there, even though the game has not captured this in the stats. And so that is how you bypass DSL. Just remember when doing this, be careful when you turn no save on and when you turn it off, and you'll be fine. If you have any further questions, please put them in the comments below, or you can contact me on Discord. Thanks for watching, keep selling, and I will see you in the next video.